and welcome to the final week of the semester. You have until December 7th, let's scroll down all the way here, to submit your final portfolio um, to finish all of your work in this extremely fast-paced class. Um, and so I want to update you on the most important steps for success that you can take moving forward and give a little bit of context of these assignments, none of which should come as a huge surprise by now. So I did update the content today with some really specific guidelines and step-by-step -step, uh, instructions, but you've known all along that you were working towards a portfolio and that you're going to be sharing a couple of poems, one or two poems, in a final open mic. So I hope that none of this lands as a really deep surprise. Um, first though, before I get into all of that and sort of go through um, D2L with you and look at some incorporating revision suggestions advice, I know you're waiting on a few things from me. And I want to thank you for your patience as I have been navigating work trips, family illness, and a lot more during this first semester teaching. Um, and then this first semester teaching this class online too. So take a deep breath with me. I will be updating the gradebook today. This means that you should be very clear on your standing in 209 before submitting your final portfolio. And I will also be, this is hopefully even more exciting than the grade, I will also be providing some belated feedback on poems. I'll try to make it clear what I've submitted to you where and um, via, via D2L and Slack, some belated feedback on poems. And I'll also be looking at this, um, this letter that you're drafting. Um, this is a letter to yourself. So you will be hearing more from me this week as you work on shaping your poems. And I hope that you find my voice a helpful guide at this stage of writing and revising. Um, and so, in fact, the like two main pieces of advice that I have for you, that's really related to the first one um, as you enter the revision stage. Now, when I revise a poem, I don't think I can even tell you how many drafts of a poem I go through. I don't think I could even count them. Um, like it's a random poem from from my book Adam City might have gone through hundreds of drafts to be frank um you know some of those drafts some of those revision sessions were really intense and some of them might have been like while I was reading a poem or performing a poem I changed a word or two um there's no way you can replicate the the long-term revision process in a week <laughs> but you can start it okay so um, the two main pieces of advice that I have for you are one, yes, I want you to carefully review all of the feedback that you've been given, as well as the guppy chapter on revision. I think it's great, and I want you to consider all of that seriously. But remember that your poems are your art, so try not to let all of these voices and suggestions bog you down. Try not to let them overwhelm you. Take what advice is useful to you and discard the advice that is not. Um, next, take the portfolio assignment step by step. So I have broken it down for you. And um, as we look at it together, um, it bears repeating. So I'm gonna scroll down to the final portfolio assignment and just pull up this assignment sheet here. You can see that in my note to you at the beginning, and I really do hope you read this as a letter of me so sort of like sending my well wishes to you and, and hoping that you take your poems um, further on the journey than this the time frame of this class will allow. Um, I really want you to be thinking about these steps as the first steps um, and nourishing your poems and letting them become what they might eventually become. And um, so let's take a look at this assignment. Step one, letter to the poet from the editor. So this is the first step, and this is the a letter to yourself, but I want you to put yourself in, um, to adopt the voice. So if you're thinking of persona poems, or you're thinking of the speaker, like the editor, you yourself collecting these poems, you are the speaker of this letter, and the auditor is the poet who struggled to get the first draft on the page. So write a letter to yourself, Dear such and such, during the past few weeks, I've tried to translate, and I use this verb translate because I really feel like each poem that you write is an act of translation. You have something muddy in your head, an experience, and you're trying to translate it and get it on the page. Um, what is it that you're trying to translate? So maybe I would say, during the past few weeks, I've tried to translate um, what becoming a, a mother during the 2020 pandemic was like into poems. Um, 
no one phrase or word or image is going to really encapsulate all of your poems or the projects that you're starting, but, but force yourself to try to, to get it on the page anyways. You might describe, you might use a few sentences there if you need to. During this endeavor, I have learned X, Y, and Z about you as a human and X, Y, and Z about you as a poet. So really you're reflecting on what you've learned about yourself, um, just like as a human trying to make it through the world and also as a writer. I've learned that I struggle with, I don't know, what's been really hard for you? Um, it could be a specific poetic technique. You could really struggle with meter or rhyme or getting concrete images on the page, or you could be really struggling with incorporating feedback and revising. What do you want your yourself to think about moving forward? The advice I'd like to give you in the future, so when you're sitting down to write a new poem in the future, is this, X, Y, Z. So that's the template, and I want to make sure that you're reflecting on um, some of the feedback that you've gotten, some of the like gems of advice from the textbook that seemed particularly useful to you, and some of the craft lectures that I've given you or the writing assignment sheets, okay? So this is a, an exercise. Think of it as, as similar to a poem draft. It's a draft. And you're submitting this on Wednesday. Okay, if I can go back. You're submitting this on Wednesday um, by the end of the night. Um, here. Okay, November 30th at the end of the night. And that's so that I can have some time to respond to that this week. Okay. Um, Concurrently, or after you write that draft, you're going to be going back through your poems. You have this nice tidy pile of poems, and you're going to be figuring out which poems you want to submit in your final portfolio. Now you've written a lot of drafts. Now, like, is your haiku going to make it in your final portfolio? Probably not, but maybe if, if you've spent a lot of time thinking about it and you really believe in it and, and it's doing more than introducing yourself, if, if the audience goes beyond that original discussion, then maybe. Um, so I want you to choose two poems from all of the nine to 10 poems you've written this semester. Choose two poems to revise thoroughly, to really allow yourself to play with, to change completely, um, you know, to transform. Now, the revision process might bring you, might be circular, you might come back to some of the first stanzas or first lines that you originally had, but be willing to discard any of it. Okay, so I have some, some advice for you, or I have two things that I want you to do. For one poem, try a revision exercise from my vault. Let me try to open this in a new tab so that... Um, so I have a few really fun revision exercises. I especially love the idea of the inversion and the self-translation. So for one poem, pick a revision exercise from my vault or from the revision exercises listed on page 246 to 250. So that's just sort of one activity. But for the other poem, try that really intimidating long checklist for editing poetry um, at the end of chapter um, 14 and try. Let's see, page 240, 250. So that's actually 20 elements. Avoid abstract and general language. Eliminate structure words. Eliminate implied words. Go through this checklist. Like, so revise this one poem 20 times, going through this checklist once for each time. Um, that It's a pretty extensive checklist, so I'm only asking that you do this with one poem. And um, I want you to know that I'm not going to be like, did they avoid repeated? So I'm not going to be like checking that, but I want you to give it a good faith try to see which of those checklist items happens to be most useful to you as a poet. Um, next, reflect. This, this step four, the reflect part doesn't have, um, I'm giving you a lot of steps today, aren't I? this doesn't have any submission elements to it. I just want you to be thinking about as you're going through this process, what's useful to you. And I want you to save them because I am imagining that you're going to be writing more poems. Um, for the other three poems, so that I've given you two poem revision, like very structured revision exercises for two poems. For the other three poems that you want to include in your portfolio, um, do whatever you want to make them the best possible poems to submit to me. Um, you might pick and choose from those editing or polishing suggestions. You might have another revision exercise that someone suggested to you. Or you might just have enough from your workshop feedback, enough suggestions and questions from the feedback to sort of um, pluck away at your, at your revisions there. Um, but I'm really looking for a significant revision on two poems so that you're putting your weight behind 
revision on two poems. That way you're definitely practicing thorough revision um, for this assignment, okay? Um, so that is the um, step two. So you're writing a letter, you're revising poems, and then the fun part, you're reading poems to one another. Okay, I've decided to do this during um, within Slack because I think it's a little easier to respond to people there. Um, excuse me. So hopefully that all goes well. Um, but, you know, technology is always fun. So I have linked you here to some really specific instructions and some additional resources for troubleshooting in case the really easy in Slack video um, clip recording doesn't go according to plan. You have some some resources to fall back on. This is a celebration of your work that you're sharing with your classmates. Um, again, I, so go over all of these instructions. I won't read them to you, um, but I'm really looking forward to hearing you read your poems on video to me and your classmates. Um, so your final portfolio is now due December 7th. That's one day later than I had originally written on the syllabus, and that's because I moved a couple of deadlines a few days back just to give us more wiggle room at the beginning of this week since the holiday last week um, and the sickness in my house has, has put a little pressure on the beginning of the week, and I really don't want you to feel pressure as you sit down to revise poetry. I want you to feel inspired. I want you to feel excited about the directions your next poems may go. Um, so hopefully this video will help with that. Okay, what else, what else? That's week eight. Um, your final portfolio contents, I guess I should go over those with you really quickly. You'll be turning this in as a final, as one PDF file. If you've never combined Word doc, so if you're working all within Google Docs, remember you can always download as um, a PDF. So you could copy and paste, um, you could copy and paste it all into one Google Doc and then download as PDF. Or if you have multiple Word files or Doc files that you want to combine, I, I've given you a resource here that shows you how to combine into one PDF files. And you have free access to Adobe um, as a UA student, just so that you know. Um, this portfolio cannot be late, and that's because my grading deadline is is really tight. So. If you anticipate any challenges there, you should be getting in touch with me now, okay? Um, so what will it include? A title page, and I want you to title your collection of poems. So a title for your final, and I don't want it to just be 209 final portfolio. Imagine that you're titling a, um, imagine that you're titling a group of poems. Uh, maybe it's the first draft of a book of poems that you're writing. Um, optionally, you can include a graphic or some other design elements um, as a cover page or in the title. Um, this is where you can get creative. I don't want you to include any like fancy fonts or font sizes um, for the actual poems themselves. There, just go with the run-of-the-mill 12-point Times New Roman font. Um, and instead, play around with stanzas, line breaks, lineation, um, stanza breaks, um, all of those sorts of things. Okay. Next will be the letter to the poet from the editor, revised. Um, so what you've learned about you and yourself as a poet as you have been revising these poems. And I say revised here because I'll be giving you feedback on the letter, so just look at the feedback. I might ask you a couple of questions that I want you to address. And then you'll have your five poems, the final drafts of the poems. I don't need the earlier drafts. Again, I'm not going to be looking with the microscope to see what you changed, um, but I will be able to tell if you have spent time on the poem and, and thought about your revisions carefully. Uh, lastly, you can include a notes page if, if you think it's important. This is only, I mean, so traditionally notes sections are used if maybe you referenced another text or um, there's some context that we might need to know in order to understand a poem. Um, use that at your discretion, it's not required. Okay, um, so hopefully this timeline makes sense to you. Let's see if we can just look at it really quickly. Um, I made a checklist for you as well, so we can take a look at that. Um, this week is all about nourishing your poems this um, oh, to get over this last hurdle, okay? Um, I'm just checking my notes. Um, I think that I've, I've gone through everything here. Um, 
Oh, I just, I'll say that the reason why I've given you the weekend to respond to each other on Slack is so that you can really listen to the videos and enjoy them because this is supposed to be a celebration and also that you can have each other's voices in your head. Um, again, my hope is that that will be inspiring as you hit the last round of revisions and edits to submit your final portfolio by 12-7, okay? Um, again, none of this is, is, is different. Um, in terms of the actual assignments, but it, it the timeline is a little bit finagled and all of the specific details are now uploaded. So um, make sure, and this is on the checklist, but make sure that when you're looking at um, the final portfolio assignment sheet that you ask me at least one question. This is a participation thing, but this also just in, helps me like rest easy and ensure ensures that helps me ensure that you're reading this assignment sheet, okay? Because I know like at the end of the semester here you have a lot going on and this is very important to read carefully. Okay? All right, that's it. Uh, happy Monday.